After a picture-perfect launch from our Space Coast, four private astronauts are winding down tonight. And in the next 30 minutes, the Axiom 1 crew will be getting some Zs. They'll be going to sleep. So glad you're with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. That's right. I'm Matt Austin. News 6's James Sparvero has been covering the latest on today's mission from Kennedy Space Center all day long. He joins us now with the very latest on this. Hey, James. Hey, Matt. Hey, Ginger. And after a long day, you'd think the astronauts are looking forward to getting their first night of rest on Crew Dragon. They're in orbit. They're going to bed at 6 o'clock. That's according to the schedule from Axiom Space. They have a crew wake-up call after 2 a.m. ahead of their docking time tomorrow at the International Space Station, which is supposed to be 7.45 in the morning with the hatch on the Dragon and then the astronauts entering the space station around 9.30 or so to begin their eight-day mission on the orbiting laboratory conducting science experiments and research. It all started with that picture perfect liftoff, 11.17 this morning. They achieved hitting the instantaneous window. They only had one shot today to do it, and they did it. And the weather cooperated phenomenally. The systems performed flawlessly. And Commander Michael Lopez Alegria, pilot Larry Connor, mission specialists Eton Stibby and Mark Pathy enjoying that ride on Falcon 9 and Crew, Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Axiom Space, this relatively new company in the game out here. You may not be familiar with them. Maybe you weren't before this mission, only founded in 2016. Customers of SpaceX to get their launch vehicles, and they're also having a partnership with NASA to put these private astronauts on the International Space Station. Lopez Alegria by now, maybe you've heard, he's a former NASA astronaut. He now works for Axiom Space as its vice president. The three other members of the crew paying customers, each paying a reported $55 million for this ride. They seem to be getting their money's worth so far with everything going just fine, Matt and Ginger. And James, what else has the crew been up to? I'm sure they've been busy. I was thinking with all the aviation experience on the team, you have Lopez Alegria, who used to fly on the space shuttle and the Russian Soyuz, and Larry Connor is a pilot by hobby, and Eton Stibby was a member of the Israeli Air Force. They must have been checking out the systems manually on the Crew Dragon, the touch tones in front of them and the monitors. We have heard SpaceX explain that astronauts before on the crewed missions have tapped into them. Remember, Dragon does fly autonomously. It is, it is on autopilot but the crew is trained to learn how to use the systems manually in case of an emergency, but otherwise they don't need to. But surely they probably checked into that to see how that played. And we also know, Matt and Ginger, that so far the crew has had two meals the rest of their time on Dragon, probably just enjoying the view, as I think you and I would be doing. Absolutely. I would imagine they're having some pretty great conversations as well. James, great job today. Thank you. Conversation's probably better than the food. <laughs> Not fresh sushi up there. During the mission, the astronauts will also help with a study being conducted at the University of Central Florida. It will include a look at how the brain and its structure is impacted by space travel. Learn more about that study and the private astronauts heading to the ISS at clickorlando.com. You're not one for space, are you? You're expecting fresh sushi up there, so no. If you're gonna get me in space, I better be fat and happy. <laughs> I'm too claustrophobic for all that. I'm waiting for. I don't want to be our, stuck in that tube. I'm waiting for something like the Starship Enterprise, where it's got the hologram wow. rooms. Wow, there and you I go. Kind of like, like a else. cruise in yeah, space. Yeah, but yet even bigger than that, because I can't do that whole confined space thing. We'll talk about aerodynamics later. Um, <laughs> I think it can happen. We're Earthlings. <laughs> Star Trek did it. <laughs>